Truth number one, your body needs good bacteria. Let's start with an easy truth. Your body needs good bacteria. Your intestines are full of it. It's estimated that you have about a quadrillion microorganisms, which are bacteria, molds, viruses, and the like, in your intestines alone. So with all those microorganisms in there, it only makes sense that your gastrointestinal tract is the primary way that harmful substances can gain access into your body. Approximately 60 to 70% of your body's immune system surrounds the gastrointestinal tract to help prevent microbial access into your body. So when your GI system is healthy, you are healthy. The GI tract protects you, preventing destructive materials such as toxins and harmful microbes from entering your body. But when this system is down, you are at risk. In fact, if your GI system fails seriously enough, it can lead to gastrointestinal damage and a wide range of substantial health problems, beginning with autoimmune diseases. It's also been associated with a number of inflammatory conditions like asthma, eczema, irritable bowel syndrome, and arthritis. Okay, you get it. Keep your intestines healthy. But how? In addition to the obvious remedies of eating healthier, better foods, research recommends that you maintain the ideal ratio of 85% good bacteria, known as probiotics, to 15% bad bacteria. The word probiotic refers to the trillions of good bacteria that line your intestinal tract and positively alter the balance of microflora by inhibiting the growth of bad bacteria, reducing toxins, boosting immune function, and promoting good digestion. When colonies of probiotics are flourishing in your GI tract, you are better equipped to combat the development of many different chronic diseases. When bad bacteria, molds, and other pathogens are passing through the gut, they must latch on to receptor sites along the intestinal wall to cause harm. The 85-15 ratio we talked about earlier is important so that the probiotic bacteria are able to prevent the binding of these bad bacteria through a process called competitive exclusion. This means that probiotics compete for these same receptor sites and exclude the bad bacteria by crowding them out. Without a place for the bad bacteria to bind, they are swept through the intestines and out of the gut. So, there's no doubt about it, your body needs good bacteria.